let's link, link some of this discussion to growth strategy. And, and since growth strategy is you know, often the number one goal for many companies, how does innovation or perhaps the entrepreneurial mindset play a role in achieving that goal within a large and perhaps more traditional company? Sure. Uh, basically every organization, every business organization certainly uh, is in a grow or die uh, situation. The challenge is how do you grow and how do you grow in a way that adds value? Uh, the Boston Consulting Group, for example, has done very extensive research uh, that documents that some growth actually destroys value. Um, that, that if it's not just a matter of more, uh, it's a matter of more and better, uh, if you will. Um, growth is the number one agenda. Uh, how do you get growth in an organization? You get it through innovation. That's the price, that's the fuel, that's the oxygen that drives the growth engine. How do you get innovation? You have to get innovation through a culture of engagement among your employees, of creativity, of flexibility, uh, and of acceptance of the risk that is associated with innovation and growth. So you can't separate these issues to some extent. Um, if, you're, if you're an organization that talks about innovation but doesn't have the culture that, that can facilitate the kind of risk-taking and experimentation that innovation almost always requires, you're just talking about the words without delivering on the reality. Similarly, innovation by itself is not all that valuable unless you can convert it into value. And that's fundamentally the business of entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurs are almost always innovators very few innovators are entrepreneurs. So the leader of a company today, at whatever stage they are, at whatever scale they are, uh, need to be paying attention to how do they both build the talent and sustain and create a culture that accommodates both the unpredictability of genuine innovation with the kind of decisive agility that it takes to be a successful entrepreneur. So with Steve Jobs, we always go back to Steve Jobs. Was Steve Jobs both innovator and entrepreneur, or was he an entrepreneur who found innovation? Oh, I think, I think you know, Steve Jobs was clearly both. Uh, I mean, he, it, it's hard to imagine, uh, although Tim Gook's doing an admirable job of, of, of putting his own stamp on that organization, the fact of the matter is that it's hard to imagine uh, any of the core revolutions and innovations that Apple did without the personal stamp and fingerprints of Steve Jobs.